I remember the first time I saw devotees, they looked to me like, like, like from another planet. They were all big pink babies going, you know, Hari <laughs> And I was just, wow, what a people, you know. I asked them, how long, how long are you actually practicing Krishna consciousness? And those days I joined, it was like Krishna consciousness was one year in Germany. So they were all like one, one and a half year devotees. But they were all just, oh, born, bum, 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 you know. And I was thinking, wow, I have these people, it's unbelievable. I can never become like this. And I was like, they were going, say something. Mm -hmm. He was going, I, you know. When they saw me, those days preaching was very strange, you know. So they looked at me and I was kind of shy, they were going, <laughs> yeah. I was going, oh, this is too much. <laughs> the chief preacher, you know, he came to me. I had a long hair up to here like this. So on Sunday feast, he came to me and he just suddenly grabbed my hair. And he was going, this would be the right haircut for you. You know, I was going, oh, he grabbed my hair. <laughs> and then I, when I was going, okay, I have to go home. And the boys were going, where, where home? Why are you going? Why are you going? Actually, I was sort of living alone, you know, I was not with my parents or something. So they were going, where are you going? Why don't you stay here? And I was going, well, you know, I didn't know actually what to do. I absolutely had no agenda in my life. But I was saying, well, I will come again, you know, bye-bye. And then one day he got up and he said, he's going home to mama. <laughs> you know, oh boy, this was really heavy for the first time, you know. But I came back again, you know, two, three, four times, and then I just stayed. Hare Krishna. Anyway.